Hey Mon Amis, welcome back to the channel. This is Nettie, and we're gonna show off my Gambit graded collection. All right guys, so let's dig into this Gambit graded box. First one we have is Gambit number three, Lee Weeks cover. Probably draws one of my favorite uh, Gambits of all time. Would you not agree, Tom? He's my favorite. Yeah, he draws such a great Gambit, great original series. Um, I actually have a page from this series, which we'll put up on the channel at some point, but great iconic cover from that original run. Next up, I actually own the cover to this artwork. This one is by uh, Chris Anka. I met him at New York Comic Con and I basically asked him, hey, I really, really like this cover. I would love to add this to my collection. And Chris said, sure. He, I took down his email address. He said, get back to me in a few months. I reached out to him and I actually own this artwork. It's hanging up in my living room. Uh, so I was really, really excited to have this one signed by him at New York Comic Con a couple years ago. Next one we have, oh boy. Yes, the most iconic of all Gambit CGC graded books I own in my collection. Sorry, the slab, the uh, plastic on the slab is a little difficult to get out, but 9.6 graded first appearance, well, highly debated first appearances of Remy LeBeau, X-Men 266, the holy grail of all Gambit books. 9.6 graded, you'll see a couple more of these in my collection, this is just one of many. Then we have Gambit and Rogue number one, the Stan Lee edition. I have a 9.6 uh, CGC graded for this one. My brother has the 9.8 graded for this book. I'm a little jealous of that, but congrats to him for having that one. Then we have what people or comic book collectors are considering the first appearance, well technically it kind of is the first appearance of Gambit. So this one's a 9.6 graded. Arthur Adams cover, legendary artist. Let's see what we got here. This is from uh, the Deadpool and Gambit series. This is Deadpool vs Gambit number one. This is a Tim Seeley cover. I love this cover. He also signed it, by the way. Anytime you see the yellow label, they'll tell you who it's signed by. This one, uh, <laughs> Kissing Booth. Of course, Remy LeBeau's got all the ladies lined up. And Deadpool's got some dude over there. I forget his name. Do you remember what his name is? Um, he He's like in that show, Superpower Beatdown, and he fights Michelangelo. I believe so. I think his name's Kickass. No, that's another comic book series. Okay. But... This one, Gambit, $25. They're all lined up. $0.25 cents for a Deadpool. He can't get anyone. Then we get into Rogan Gambit number one. This is the 1 in 25 cover. This was signed by Jim Lee, all right? Co-creator of Gambit. One of three books that I have signed by Jim Lee in my collection. Love this. Love that cover. And then, yeah, this is another one. This is a 9.6 CGC graded Jim Lee signed X-Men 266. Andy Cooper cover, legendary cover. Got a couple of those in the collection. Now, this one is kind of special for me because this book on the CGC um, census, I believe it's called, I have the only graded 9.8 Mike Mayhew KRS edition. I got this signed by him at Boston Fan Expo back in 2018. And I currently own the only one of this one. Next up, we got X-Men 361. This is the return of Gambit because he was exiled from the, from the X-Men after uh, X-Men 350 with the trial of Gambit. 
I thought I saw this cover a couple weeks uh, about a couple months ago forgot about it and I said okay gotta add it to my gambit collection so glad to have that one then we have gambit number one 9.8 CGC graded the first solo series in the gambit collection another 9.8 so that was uh, Gambit number one, and of course, I gotta have Gambit number two. Here's Gambit number two, Lee Weeks cover, such a beautiful, iconic cover with Belladonna dead in his arms. Love this cover, one of my favorite ones. All right, so now we're gonna start to get into some original artwork I have in here. So I'm gonna, I don't wanna be butchering names, I'm sorry, but this one, look at that. This one is Rogan Gambit number one, the blank sketch variant edition. Okay, and this was signed by Oscar Basildoa, who did the artwork, the interior artwork for um, Mr. and Mrs. X. I got him to do this for me at New York Comic Con back in 2018. So he signed and sketched it for me. Love it put a little R with a heart there for Rogue. Pretty sweet commission work. Glad to have that one. And we were talking about X-Men 350 just a second ago. Boom, 9.8, Joe Mad cover. Very iconic Gambit cover, signed by the man himself. Fellow Azorian, all right. Pretty sweet. Then I have X-Men number red, uh, X-Men red number three, excuse me, the Gabriel Del Oro cover. This one is bad, man. This is a bad cover. That is so sick. I actually own a couple copies of these and you're gonna see another one in this. I don't know if I have it in this short, uh, short box or uh, graded box or if it's in my other one. Yes, I do have another Gambit graded box that we will have a video for at some point in the future. This one is Uncanny X-Men number 385, Salvador La Roca cover, Gambit and Rogue. This was a Wizard World Chicago 2000 limited edition, so you could uh, only get that at that convention. I lived in Chicago for a long time. Well, not really, four years, but still, um, it's the only other place I, I lived in other than Boston. They used to have these Wizard Worlds, um, I think they had them at McCormick Place, which I used to live right next to. All right. Now we have, ooh, Astonishing X-Men number one. Look at this. Look at this cover by Art Germ. Stanley, I don't want to butcher his last name, but and it's Stanley, I think it's L-A-U. How would you pronounce that? Lou? Lau. Lau? Mm -hmm. Stanley Lau cover. This was a one in, oh, I don't remember if it's a one in 50 or it's a, a one, one in 50. Is it a one in I 50? It. Yeah, this is a one in 50 cover. You, wait till you see this. I have this here. And then you'll see another version of this in a second. All right. This is my baby. My, one of my pride and joys in the collection. It took me a couple years to buy it just because the price was always at like $500. But here it is. A 9.8 CGC graded X-Men 266. I bought this a few months ago. I saw that the price dipped down i said all right if i'm ever gonna buy this or if i'm ever gonna pull the trigger on a x-men 266 at a 9.8 this is the time i bought it and now it's already jumped up back to its original price so another 150 dollars more than what i paid for then we have i love this cover oh my god david yarden killed it on x-men origins gambit number one this is a one shot uh we actually have this like a canvas frame in our basement. I ended up ordering that a couple years ago just because I love the way Gambit looks in that cover. Look at that hair. That's the best Gambit cover. That's, that's it's definitely, it's up there for me, top five. It's, without the a cards doubt. look amazing. All right, and then this one is Mr. and Mrs. X number three. This is, um oh shoot, uh, this is the first appearance of Zandra, Xavier, uh, Xavier's daughter. And I have, I have, I also had Oscar Basildoa write a quote from the book. 
So this is personalized, all right? It says kiss and make up. Get, Rogue actually says that in one of the panels in this book. Um, I love it. He even wrote 2018 New York Comic Con. Um, I had two copies of this. I sold one of them, and then I kept this one for my personal collection. Then I have X-Men number 30, X-Men Gold number 30, should I say? The J. Scott Campbell cover. This was um, a mystery cover. It was in a poly bag. I had to open it up and figure out how the cover looked and it's gorgeous. Great cover, I really do like this one. Very important book to have to the collection since that is the issue where Rogue and Gambit finally get married. And then we just saw this book a second ago, but now it's signed by Stanley, Art Germ. That is sick. I love this cover. So much so that I own it twice. All right, get into the end of this box. Deadpool vs. Gambit number one. This was the San Diego Comic-Con edition. Um, the Chip Zardesky cover where Deadpool's dressed up as Gambit. It's got that whole 90s theme, grunge boy. I love 90s. Big reason why I am a Gambit fan is watching the X-Men cartoons in the 90s. So I kind of, I love the play on that. We already saw this book, but now we're going to see it again. But this time it's signed by Jim Lee. So this is another one of uh, the three books that Jim Lee signed for me. 9.8 graded CGC Del Oto cover. Love it. I love the fact that I own multiples of the same book. Uh, you know, I have an original one and then I have a graded version. Then I have Gambit volume number two, uh, issue number one. I forget what the ratio was for this one, um, but pretty cool cover. I ended up getting it off of uh, a buddy of ours, Fiol. Oh, nice. I bought this off of uh, Fiol Comics in New York City. I think he's, mm -hmm. that's where he's at. Great guy. I forget the name of his store. Um, I'll have to give him a, a shout out. Well, kind of, kind of am right now, but I don't know the name of his store. But Feel Comics on Instagram. Feel Comics. Great guy. Half Salvadorian like my brother and I. Hooked it up. All right. This is, no, there's no big significance to this book, but it's my favorite Gambit cover. And this one, X-Men Gold number four. I just love this cover. They, it makes, this is like the perfect picture of Gambit. You got Wolverine. Um, you got Nightcrawler, and I don't know who the queen is over here. Might be Rogue, might be, probably is Rogue. But uh, I reached out to the artist for this book to try to buy the cover. That's how much I loved it. And he told me that he had just sold it a few months ago. So I was a little bummed out. Um, Ardian Syaf is his name, I believe. S-Y-A-F. Ardian. Ardian Syaf. Mm -hmm. Anyways. Next book. X-Men 1992 or 92, issue number three. This is the Sana Takeda cover. And look at that anime cover of Gambit. That is so cool. I've never seen a Gambit anime cover. I know they had um, an X-Men anime show back in the 90s. It was kind of a play off of the X-Men show. Um, and Gambit looked pretty cool in that. So I, I do like, I believe this is kind of like a throwback to that. But this is a beautiful Gambit cover. My brother loves it too. He ended up ordering a raw copy. I'm going to send it in. <laughs> to find this book, 9-8, very, very difficult to find. Very difficult. I think I have one of four, three or four CGC graded at 9-8. So very, very uh, scarce copy to find at that grade. And if you notice, most of my Gambit books are 9-8s. Except for this one. <laughs> this one is a CBCS graded. 9.4 Gambit number one, the gold foil variant. Um, I'm thinking about cracking this one open and having it signed by uh, Howard Mackey and Lee Weeks. Uh, at, at Well, whenever we get back to Comic Cons or cons in general, just because I, I want to kind of press it out. There's a couple indents here that I can see. Um, and I, I reached out to a buddy of mine, Mike Bailey, and he said that this can actually be pressed, that this can get pressed, even though it's a foil. Uh, so I want to send this book in. Great book. 
Very rare to find that. Very expensive to get that at 9.8. Definitely a good chunk of change. And last but not least, guys, we have Gambit number four. Sweet Lee Weeks cover, Howard Mackey story. My favorite Gambit run. I own a page from this exact uh, copy or issue. And like I said, at some point, we're going to post the video up of my original artwork. It's uh, a page from Lee Weeks. I reached out to his, um, kind of like his manager, and I saw a page online, and I said, hey, man, I really need this for my Gambit collection. It cost me a good chunk of change, let's, let's put it that way. But anytime, I'm a big uh, original art guy, so just to own a page from this issue and this cover, whew, love it. So yeah, guys, make sure you like and subscribe. Also turn on your notifications so anytime we post up a video, you guys will be the first ones to know about it. Follow us on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter at Amaya Bros Comics. And yeah, see you guys in the next video.